Welcome to the circuit de Barcelona Catalonia for the Spanish Grand Prix. Over the next few minutes, the teams will be heading out onto this classic Formula One track for what we're expecting to be a very hectic practice session. Catalonia. Hello people and welcome back today, back on F1 2015 for episode 5 of our F1 2015 career mode series. We are back. I'm sorry it's been so long. It has been a while since the last one. I think it's like three weeks. Or something like that so yeah long long time um, but anyway we are back um, it's not a dead series I went on holiday and I was just saying up my new channel so I couldn't really find the time to edit and commentate on the video but anyway we are here now so that's all good <clears throat> but just in practice here on the prime tires car felt very good uh, very lively which I like um, yeah, normally our one lap pace has been really good this se season, so we're going to have to look out for that. But there, that was our practice results, and we were on provisional pole, well, first place in practice by 1.6 seconds. So our one lap pace is absolutely amazing, but in qualifying, this is our first lap, just coming around this left-hander. And, oh, we've lost the back end, and we've put it in the wall! Oh, my word, we have crashed out of qualifying. Not a great return, is it? Oh, uh, wow. So, yeah, as you can see, just coming around. We really needed a good result as well. I just get really bad luck. Our tyres are smoking around there. I don't know if that's something to do with it. Then coming around here, I don't know what happens. We just get on the curb and lose the back end and then just go into the wall. And we are out of qualifying. I'll be starting from last place for tomorrow's race. But anyway, here we are. anyway, here we are on the grid. Five lights are out, starting from last place. This is going to be an interesting race if we want to salvage any points. We've got past the two manners. That was easy. Uh, next up is like a whole bunch of cars, and we've just dived it down the inside of absolutely everyone. We've got we're up into eleventh place. Button just kills us though. And that could have been really bad. Don't know what Pam was thinking, but. I don't know how we didn't make contact there as we just Nazi takes us out, alright. Don't know how we didn't make contact at the first corner because we just dived it up the inside of so many cars. But we have made eight places up in the first corner, now going down the inside of Button and Maldonado. So we are up into the points already. I thought it was going to be a hard race to salvage points, but I'm 100% aggressive mode right now. Um, now we've got a run on the Vest on Verstappen going round the outside. That is an amazing move. That is a great move. Round the outside, going down. The I can't even commentate fast enough. Going down the inside of three cars. We break late. We run wide. Massa is there. He gets back past us, but looks like we're going to go back round the outside of him. <laughs> wow, what a crazy start to the race. We've looks like it was going to be hard to salvage any points, but already we've gone from last to sixth. And we are going to be absolutely flying for the rest of this race. Are we going to get signs down the inside? No. But maybe we'll get a run on him. Looks that way. Uh, yeah, with the Ferrari straight line speed. Looks like we're going to get past it. That is job done. And we are into P5 after one lap. So we are absolutely flying. Next up is Valtteri Bottas. And um, it's looking like a podium might be on the on the table if we can keep our head straight and keep on pushing. But a few corners later, going down the inside of Bottas, and I do not know what that was, but we just completely... I think we overshot it a bit. Let's look on support from Bottas. I think we basically just overshot it, and Bottas said no to go. So, yeah, that was a bit of my bad. But I'm going for every place, so I'm going to take it. As you can see, let's look on the replay. Yeah, we just dive down the inside go straight on uh, but talking going straight on we've done that again with Vettel we tried to dive it down the inside of Sebastian Vettel but it didn't work and now we're going round the outside into the chicane what a move we're gonna have to look on that on the replay because that was incredible we overshoot going down into the hairpin uh, but through the chicane never see any overtakes around there let alone through the outside let's just look at this again because this this is an amazing overtake, one of the best of the season. You can see, just get a better run and go round the outside. 
Wow, what an overtake. That was that was incredible, but I think at the moment I'm going a bit too aggressive as we set the fastest lap. I'm going too aggressive um, because I'm just trying to overtake everyone at every opportunity uh, and it's resulting in a lot of mistakes, but we've still got 30 laps left and we're already in a podium position. So I really don't need to take so many risks. Just keep my head straight, keep pushing. And who knows, we could be challenging for the lead of the race. We've still got 30 laps to do it. And I think our fastest lap then would have been fast enough for pole as well yesterday. And it's only lap four. So yeah, that is a shame. That was just an honest mistake, my bad guys. But anyway, on lap five, having a look at Rosberg. It's not going to happen. He's a bit too far ahead and we lose the rear end a little bit. <coughs> but yeah, we're going to keep on the pressure on him. Uh, just keep on putting on pressure, hoping he makes a mistake or we can just find a way through. But we've got a good run through here. No, Rosberg's a bit too far ahead. I don't doubt we'll be able to recreate what we did to Vessel. But next lap, are we going to get a good run for the home straight? Uh, depend on this corner, these corners. So, yeah, just come along here. And we're going down the inside. Don't, we've done it. That's two overtakes in that corner right there. That is incredible stuff. Let's look at the replay. That's unheard of to make overtakes down there. This is absolutely incredible. Let's look on board from the helicopter shot. Just coming through that long sweeping corner. Getting a good run through. This last sector is my strong point on all F1 games on this circuit. Um, but as you can see we just go down the inside and Rosberg just turns away. Just at this track I just seem to be really really good at the last sector. Uh, no matter what game it is to be honest. I don't know it just suits my driving style. Uh, but as you can see, we're going down the inside and Rosberg just turns away. If he turned in, then there would have been contact and that would have ended up in a crash. But it's only lap six, but don't tell me. We're going to have a run on Lewis Hamilton. We're in the DRS. In the slipstream. We're getting a run on Lewis Hamilton. We're going to go down the inside, are we? Yes, we are. We, are. we have taken the lead of the race. We've gone from last to first in this Grand Prix. In only seven laps. We've run a bit wide, but I don't think he's going to be able to get past us. And he's taken us out! Lewis Hamilton has taken us out of the Spanish Grand Prix. What the hell, Hamilton? Just what? I'm lost for words. As you can see, we're running wide. He just comes and takes us out. He did this in Australia. He just went. He gets. He's really dirty this season. Whenever someone overtakes him for the lead of the race, he's just like, no, and he. He, he literally just, he's taken us out three times this season or something. It's becoming a bit of a joke, the rivalry we were having with Hamilton. He got really angry at us when we stole the championship off him last season. But we're going to have to limp it back round for a whole lap, as you can see. We're only down in P5, but it's going to completely screw our strategy. We've lost like half a lap or something. And... What was meant to be a two-stop is now going to have to probably turn into a three-stop unless we run primes twice. So this has really messed us over. We had gone from last to first in just seven laps. And then Lewis Hamilton just comes and completely takes us out. I... So done. Just co-masters, please. I have no idea what that was. That was really annoying. We could have gone from last to first. That's probably going to be impossible now, but... Just looking on board the Lotuses, they double slack. Looks like they all got in safely though. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I was really angry after this, making contact with Stevens, Lel. Uh, but I was on full charge mode. I, I, yeah, I was just going to push my absolute hardest for the rest of the race. Uh, see how many points we could salvage, because it would be hard to salvage points after we've lost so much time. But I was going to try. I was going to try I thought we would be able to get maybe a few scraps. Maybe even a little bit more if he pushed really hard. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. As you can see, other people making their pit stops. So we haven't... We only came in uh, two laps earlier. So it's going to hurt our tyre wear. But maybe not really badly. As On lap 10, coming through the pits, people are in for their stops. Uh, as I said, it's going to affect us on tyre wear. But we're up into P6. There's a car there. Is that going to turn into P5? Yes, it is. So, what a recovery after us losing about 30 seconds. And now we're pushing like crazy. 
We've still got 22 laps to go, don't forget. So there's still time. Button's next up. We'll be able to make work of him, so... I think we're going to be in an effective P4, so... This is a crazy recovery. Going from last to first, back down to last again. Now, maybe we're still looking at a podium. Who knows? There's 20 laps left of the race. What a, what a crazy race this is to come back to. This is awesome. This is great stuff but yeah we're just gonna have to keep our head down keep pushing every single lap not make any mistakes if we do want to get that podium it's, it's gonna be hard even to hold on to this p5 because of um our strategy has been kind of screwed because of hamilton that was ridiculous i do not know what he was thinking um, but anyway, cutting on to lap 15, the gap to Vettel is 3.5 seconds. We are bringing it down quite quickly. If we could get a podium here, after all that's happened already, that would be absolutely crazy. What a race this has been. Um, yeah, but now cutting on to lap 19, we're coming in for our second pit stop. I think this will be our last one. We've gone 12 laps on this. We're going to have to go 14 laps on another set of prime tyres. Uh, which is it's going to be hard towards the end of the race our tyres are going to be absolutely dead but my my thinking is rather than do three stops we'll just do this stop push see if we can how high we can get up maybe a podium and then when our tyres are completely dead just defend because it's quite easy to defend in this game uh, we go down to P6 is that going to be P7 uh, no looks like we just hold it down the inside but this is an effective p4 maybe even an effective p3 because who knows we might get a really really good undercut on vessel it'd have to be quite a quite a big undercut but who knows let's see what happens when vessel exits the pits which i think we're cutting on to now yeah lap 21 as you can see vessels exited the pits he's got cold tires we've got a great run he's got no answer for us on cold tires we're right in the slipstream. We're going to go down the inside and we're up into P3. So what a reco recovery this is. We're looking on course for a podium. And that is Rosberg. Nico Rosberg is up the road, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> so, out of nowhere, we are looking to challenge for P2 in this race. This has been absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Vettel on cold tyres had no no answer for us and Rosberg's only two seconds up the road and we're pushing like crazy so I don't think it'll take long before we catch him is it this is a nice shot on the back of Nico Rosberg so you can see we're right behind him so putting him under a lot of pressure as on the next lap it's only taken us this long to catch up to him so we are flying but are we going to go down the inside No, he's a bit too far ahead, but coming to the hairpin, are we going to dive bomb him? Looks like we maybe, he turns out again, and we are into P2 in the Spanish Grand Prix. What a race. We still have 11 laps left. I'm not sure if we'll be able to catch down Hamilton because we lost like 30 seconds, so what's the gap going to be? It is 12 and a half seconds, so yeah, that is... It's looking quite hard if we want to catch Hamilton. That's it's going to be a hard task. I mean, I was going to try, but it didn't seem likely. Twelve seconds in ten laps. Uh, I was about a second lap faster, but especially when the tire wear kicks in. And there's floating tires on the racer. Okay, Code Masters, what are you playing at? Code Masters, what are you playing at? I do not know what that was about. Um, there's a bunch of lap cars up here. Is Maldonado? Maldonado's got no wheels. Um, Mary was just getting in my way. All right, but all right, we're gonna have to find that car. Yeah, look, Maldonado has no wheels. What is going on? Look, yep. Yeah, all right, casual Maldonado just driving along with no wheels. He's turned into a hover car. Aliens exist. He has some next gen technology hover car thing and he's just flying around the race circuit all right 
I have no idea what that was about. But we'll carry on, I guess. <coughs> the gap to Hamilton is six seconds, so we are bringing it down lows. We're on course to be right behind him by the end of the race. But again, I don't think it's going to happen because our tyres are just going to be completely dead at the end of the race because we're having to do a lot more than anyone else. Um, lap 32, gap is five seconds. I think we got it down to like three seconds, but the tyre wear kicked in and we just had no answer for him. So sadly, looks like we're not going to win this race, but still, last place to second, that is crazy. It could have been last to first, but Hamilton, don't know what he was playing at. He took us out. Um... Yeah, no idea what that was about. But coming on to the last lap now. Final sector. We've got a gap to Rosberg. We're not going to catch Hamilton. But what a crazy race this has been. And it looks like. After all the things that have gone against us. Finally. In Spain. We are going to come home. To cross the line. In P2. And this will help us in the championship. So there we are, what a race. In my opinion, I think Hamilton should have got a penalty. Uh, but, yeah, that's just the way it is. What a crazy race, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the return of the series. Thank you all for watching. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with loads of people if you really enjoyed it. That was awesome. Monaco, I'll be working on that. Hopefully it will come quite soon, sooner than this one came. But anyway, thank you all for watching. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.